Yo guys, what's going on? Today I'm bringing you a video on how you can get Nook Miles in what I believe is the most efficient way possible. Now this is an exploit and not a glitch. So if you're one of those people that isn't into the glitches or don't want to risk your data doing the recent duplication glitch, this could be for you. Now just before we get into it, I want to introduce you to this area of my island. I did a video where I built this area, so this is a bit of a sneak peek slash spoiler. If you haven't seen it yet, it looks fantastic at night because everything lights up. So I'll link that in the uh, description below if you haven't seen that go check it out it's a pretty awesome video all right now to get started on this glitch as you can see in the top right corner i have 23,000 nook miles now i want you guys to be sure that you haven't confused nook miles with nook miles tickets this is an exploit video for nook miles not the tickets but i guess that's the same thing because you can use the nook miles to buy the tickets so as you can see i'm just collecting some here um we're gonna even out at a number and then i'm going to try and get some more on top of that so you can see how this works pretty efficiently now, as you can see in the bottom left, it is the 1st of January. Now, I'm very sorry to those that don't like it, but this does involve time traveling. So obviously the first step to this is you wanna set yourself to the first of the first. Now, it doesn't matter what year it is, the higher the year, the more efficient this is. I'm just gonna leave it at 2020 for the time being. But if you plan on doing this like a lot, you could set it higher. I think like 2050, 2060 is the highest you can go. But yeah, the reason this works so well is that on New Year's Day, as you can see here, Happy New Year. We're sorry that the Nook stop was unavailable yesterday. To make up for that, we're giving you 500 Nook miles. Now, all you want to do is talk to the ATM, access it, and then exit right out. You just got 500 Nook miles for free. Now, the next thing you're going to do is just go straight back to settings, straight back to time, date and time and you're just gonna lower the year by one. Now what that will do is it'll change it to a new year, except because you went back in time instead of forward, it's not gonna have Isabel talk to you in the morning. I guess the game already assumes you've had that day. I'm not sure how it works. All I know is that it does work and Isabel will not give you her morning lecture about her family problems like she does every single day. So because Isabel doesn't give you the lecture, you just load in, you can just sprint instantly back to the ATM and access it again. And then you just repeat that over and over and you get 500 nook miles each time. And it is fairly quick. All right, so as you can see, I have 26,000 nook miles. As you can see here as well, it's gonna give me 500 extra. So I'm almost at 27,000. Now I think I'm gonna do this for five to 10 more minutes and I will get back to you guys to show you how much I have accumulated. All right, so I'm just gonna test this out one more time for you guys and I'm gonna show you how it's done just in case it wasn't explained well enough or someone misunderstood. So as you can see here, I am cleaning my 500 nook miles from the ATM. I'm gonna exit out, sign off. Then we go to system settings. I'm gonna scroll down to system, date and time, and I'm going to change the year down one. Press okay, straight back in the game, and then I wrap things up, save and end. Instantly press A when the menu pops up. There we go, and it's just gonna load me straight back in the game. Be careful not to run through the flowers. Gonna run straight back to resident services. All right, and then all I need to do is access the ATM again, and it's going to give me, there we go, Happy New Year. It's gonna give me the extra 500. There we go. And I can repeat that over and over as much as I like. Because this is so easy to do, I could do this while I watch TV or watch YouTube. Uh, that's the joy of it all. It's so simple. Now, just to show you how much I got, I'm going to access the ATM one more time. Redeem Nook Miles. As you can see, I have 38,000 now, so I did go up, I think. Uh, I think it was 20,000, I think I went up, which is pretty good. You can get a lot of uh, stuff for that. So if you want, you can use this to buy yourself all the stuff that you haven't got, maybe all the decorations, you can buy all the hair upgrades, that sort of thing. I have a lot that I haven't bought because I never felt like I needed them, but I'll do it for the sake of this video. There we go, now I have some new hair colors that I probably won't use, but there we go. Now obviously you can use this to buy Nook Miles tickets, it's nowhere near as efficient as the other duplication glitches and all that, but if you aren't about those glitches, or you don't want to do the current duplication glitch because you're scared to risk your data, and that sort of thing. This exploit could be for you. You can get a lot of Nook Miles. If you want, you could use this to get yourself uh, Nook Miles tickets that you can use in the duplication glitches. If for some reason you start off and you don't have any Nook Miles tickets, this could be something for you. But yeah, this is completely safe. 
Again, I know I'll get a thousand comments about it, but the time travel can't hurt your game at all. All it will do is it will make weeds grow on your island, and if you have turnips, then don't do it because your turnips will spoil, but that is all that it will do to your island. So don't leave me a thousand comments below asking how this will damage your island because I get that on all of my videos with time traveling. But yeah, it, it's completely safe. It's not even a glitch. It's not going to do anything to your game. It's completely harmless. Sadly, because it's completely harmless and completely uh, innocent, it uh, doesn't benefit you as much as the glitches that are in this game or have been in this game previously. And yeah, that's about it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, make sure you check out my other videos. I got a couple guides on how to kick villages out. I've got a video about how I made this entrance. Uh, tune into my stream at twitch.tv slash I'm going to start streaming there very soon and I'm going to give away some of these star fragment trees and other special trees that you can't actually get in the game. So if you're wondering how I got these, I got them off a friend. You can't actually get these in the game legitimately. They are hacked items and you can't get in trouble for having these on your island unless you're the one that hacked them in yourself. And I would never hack this game. I mean, I can glitch the hell out of it, but I would never hack it. So, so yeah, I hope this helps some of you out. If it did, let me know down below. Leave a like, leave a comment. I appreciate all of that a lot. Subscribe if you want more videos like these. I try to show off all the glitches, exploits, and all the ways you can profit from this game. So if you're into that sort of thing, please subscribe. I'm also going to be posting a lot of videos where I upgrade and design my island, much like you see in front of you right now. So if you're into that sort of thing as well, don't forget to subscribe. That's the type of stuff I'm going to be posting. So if you're into that, then there you go. But yeah, besides that, I hope you all have a good day. I hopefully catch you in another video. And until then, have a good day. Peace.